Hello, the practitioner here again. Okay, now that I've dealt with um, fictional uh, material, um, particularly, and I apologize for the emotional outburst uh, in relation to the um, uh, case from normal um, in the last episode. Unfortunately, um, despite the fact that Aspies do try to place emotion second, um, we are susceptible to emotion on occasion. Uh, actually, we are we are still susceptible to emotion, and um, on occasion it does affect us. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, like I said, there there are certain areas which are sore spots for me, um, and I reacted to one. So, yes, I am human. Um, you know, um, you know. Yes, I may react. I may call for logic. Uh, I may process uh, things a lot more in the logic base. But emotion does happen. Um, you know, and I will admit when I have an emotional response, I'll call it as such. Um, again, there. You know. Anyway. Sorry, back on track. Um, reality TV. The first thing I'd like to do is talk about Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil uh, has already been debunked extensively on Penn and Teller Bullshit's episode about self-help programs. Um, fellow psychologists have said that um, he does mean well, but um, he is trying to use um, years' worth of psycho psychological experience and proper evaluation in episodes that are only an hour long. He's trying to condense an entire several weeks or several months worth of counseling material into a single hour counseling session. That's effectively what it is. And the worst part is that, um, okay, I'm going to put a little backdrop for you, okay? First things first, if you're an Aspie, you do react. Uh, I will, I will give you a little bit of something about Aspergers. Aspies do work based on logic, but, um, not all Aspies are based on the entire same critical thinking mindset that I'm trying to use these days. I will admit that even in my case, um, I was logic-based, but I wasn't so hypercritical thinking and hyper, you know, literal logic-based. Um, I mean, I had it, and I did kind of think like that to a certain extent, but nowhere near quite the level I did now uh, until I took critical thinking classes and actually had a framework to apply to my Asperger's logic. For the most part, Aspies actually, um, Aspies work based on what they are raised with. Um, largely because of the fact of our hyper-literality, we, um, we try to absorb... Um, we absorb what we are raised with um, more still than other people because of the fact that we assume that to be, uh, it, it's this logical, hyper-focused, repetitive obsession, if you will, you know, th this repetitive thing that we're used to. Now, in my case, um, my father raised me and my brother to work on logic um, because my brother was closer to autism. Um, it worked to a certain extent, but just because of the autism, it didn't necessarily put in the same output to a certain extent. So, again, Asperger's versus autism, you know, I that's why I thought to like it to a certain extent, but not as much. If you raise an autistic in a um, in a lower class uh, in a lower class inner city environment, they are going to be raised um, try, trying to constantly fight with everybody because that is the environment in which they are raised in. They are if you raise uh, an autistic to uh, in an environment where where people are constantly fighting or trying to uh, you play dominance head games like the sort of shit that you see in the inner cities or you see in most high schools these days, particularly in the lower in the inner you know particularly in the lower income brackets. If you if you raise an Aspie there, they are going to absorb that uh, hyper focused and probably and probably fight even more so than most neurotypicals would in a situation like that. They would embrace the extreme because they think that the extreme is the literal framework by by which everyone else is supposed to work. Like I, now that I have critical thinking, um, try to shoot as much as I possibly can for cri for the critical thinking and logical mindset to the point where I'm even willing to reject half of uh, societal's traditional norms because I don't consider them to be critically thinking based. <laughs> you know, uh, hence the whole incest video debate I got into because um, you know because again I go to the extreme on that, uh, particularly in logic and base because that's what I believe to be the uh, the norm that is supposed to be based in our society. You know, this is a purely Aspie mindset here. Um, but anyway, that being said, um, you know, uh, I will admit that is, but that being said, um, in Dr. Phil, uh, they try to bring in this one Aspie kid. He's about 15 years old. He's been raised from a really bad neighborhood. And he's not particularly had, um, you know, much help. And on top of that, I mean, they know he, have, he has Asperger's, but there wasn't really much known about this time. This was an episode about two years ago. And they try to counsel him by saying, Dr. Phil tries to go like, well, you see, this is how it is, and you have to do it like this. And the kid, of course, if he's already been raised with something like this, and you don't explain why to him, I mean, an SP needs logic anyway. If you, you need to explain why to something, unless they've been raised, you know, if they've been raised with something all their lives, and they're so hyper-focused anyway, you're going to need to explain why to an SP anyway, to explain why something is different as opposed to the system that they've been raised in. So you're, you're, 
you're not dealing with that right there. The second of thing of which is that Dr. Phil is not a specialist when it comes to autistic spectrum disorders. He has no idea of how to properly counsel uh, someone who has Asperger's or autism to explain to them um, what social rules they are violating or, uh, uh, and the like. I mean, the way that Dr. Phil explains things, he almost expects people to, you know, to say, like, you should already know this. Like, this is the way it is. Like, why, are, why aren't you getting this? If you explain this to an Aspie in that format and try to, uh, you're effectively conveying to an Aspie that he's stupid, and then he becomes self-defeating. Um, again, many Aspies have anxiety-related disorders and stuff like that, which, you know, if they don't get it perfect the first try in a lot of cases, they will have a defeatist attitude. And if you tell them they're stupid, uh, you know, something like that, they'll either they will either um, revert back into themselves, or if they've been raised, you know, in this particularly an environment where violence is the only thing they know, they're going to fight back. So, of course, the do um, Dr. Phil's show, which turned into a great fiasco and completely misrepresented Asperger's as, you know, as some uh, completely, um, you know, antisocial disorder, well, that's not surprising considering the approach that Dr. Phil used. Uh, you know, the, the issue here, and that's why I will give that show a one and a half star, probably even a one star, because of the fact that the Aspie was not re the, the Aspie in particular, who was only 15 in this case, was reacting to an inappropriate technique to dealing with Asperger with autistic spectrum disorders. You know, there was a, anyway, I don't mean to get emotional on this, but you know, there's a there's a whole slew of 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 tried and true techniques for dealing with autistics, both on the low functioning and the high functioning end. And Dr. Phil did not use them, so I rate that episode a one and a half star. The one final piece I'm going to rate is the reality TV series, The Last Cycle of America's Next Top Model. Heather, uh, a high-functioning autistic, uh, specifically with uh, Asperger, been diagnosed with Asperger's and ADD, fought her way through to become a America's Next Top Model. Now, unfortunately, um, I would rate that I would rate that one a a three and a half star to a four star. Uh, thing mostly because of the fact that the the show was fair. They did portray Aspergers in its true light. They did show the entire spectrum, both the good aspects, um, you know, and and the not so good aspects, including uh, you know Heather getting her hyper focus and you know and trying to figure about social rules. And when people were you know trying to take her out of the shower, you know, trying to take their turns in the shower, what have you, she was a a, a very strong believer in fair play. She hyper believed it, much like I believe in hyper in logic. And when she wanted her turn in the shower, and somebody tried to you know fight turns, she pushed someone out of the shower, and when they considered her to be a bitch about it, she wasn't being. That was her Asperger's. Um, however, I do believe that it was unfair that she got, uh, and this is the reason I rated only four stars opposed to five, is that um, I believe that the show was unfair in kicking her off in the top five. I mean, good thing they led her to the top five, but I think she should have made it to the top four. And the only reason that I say this is because of the fact that um, when an Aspie is stressed, and this is the one thing that they failed to cover in the show, is that when an Aspie is stressed, um, you know, stress compounds in an Asper in an Aspie system. And sometimes Aspies do not have the capability. They need a day to be able to get off and to, um, you know, especially when they're in a foreign country and they have no concept of language or anything like that. You know, it's going to be difficult, especially if they're already at a high stress level from the past week or so. Um, you know, their performance levels are going to be down. And um, the thing is that I don't think Tyra Banks and other, and other people were understanding, knew enough about the disorder to be able to understand that, that they needed a little bit of space to be able to work better. So, um, you know, in, my, in all fairness, uh, that's the only criticism I have of that particular episode, um, was that they failed to show that um, Heather should have been allowed into the top four as opposed to the top five and given one more chance. Uh, you know, just give him one more chance. Now, she still didn't get it after the top four, you know, after having, say, an extra couple of days to try to kick the stress out of her system. Then I believe that, yes, she should have been kicked out. But, you know, that's just a minor glitch. You know, top five as opposed to top four. That's my only reason. Again, it was because of an Asperger's thing. Other than that, so let's see. One reality TV case of, um, of, um, uh, one reality TV case of a four, of a four star. Um, one fiction case of a four star. One fiction case of a uh, of a three to uh, two fictional cases of a three to three and a half star, and a one reality TV show, i.e. Doctor Phil, um, which is a one and a half star. Doctor Phil seriously needs to improve his techniques of dealing with stuff. Anyway, that's my review of Aspergers in the media of Aspergers and uh, a, 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 of the autism spectrum in the media. I hope you found that entertaining and enlightening. Toodles.